The year is coming to an end and yet countless packages continue to be released. Among the releases of Calendar Week 49 we get a location picker with which you can select countries, states and cities from a list, a package helping you to create animated stylish material dialogues, an alternative to the Inkwell widget for building interactive areas and 7 more packages which made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. To be notified weekly about the latest PubDev releases, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with Calendar Week 49. Sometimes you want to maintain the state of your app for a short period of time, for example when the app is running in the background. This is exactly what the package Last State is designed to do, handle your last state data, autosave your last route and restore your state after your app process was determinated. Machine learning is one of the most popular topics in software development. One of the most powerful machine learning packages is Google's ML Kit. The package of the same name Google ML Kit helps you integrating the functionalities into your Flutter app. Extensions make things much easier, so it's even better that there are packages that offer us just that. With Kubo's extensions you get extensions for the class String, Datetime, List and Duration. If you are familiar with Microsoft's cloud services, to be more precise with the Azure based application performance management service called Application Insights and you want to make use of that in your Flutter app, then check out the package Azure Application Insights. And another package for integrating a cloud service, this time it's about Google Maps. For those who want to use Google Maps with multiple markers in their Android application, should probably investigate in the package Map Plugin. The next package has a very creative name, with Country State City Picker you get exactly what you probably expect. You get a picker for countries, states and cities and additionally you can select a list of favorite countries. On week 47 I introduce you to the package Timelines, which provides you with beautiful predefined and customizable timelines. This week we get another package of this type. Flutter Date Picker Timeline provides you with a Gregorian and Jalali customizable date picker as a horizontal timeline. Lightboxes offer a suitable way to present media content in the web. It's nice to see packages extending the possibilities for Flutter web apps like this one. Lightbox, a simple package to create web lightboxes in Flutter, enabling you to show images in an overlay widget with controls to slide between images. Animations and interactivity are both elements that can increase the user's attention span. So it's even better if you could combine those, for example with animated dialogues. The package Material Dialogues aims to help creating animated, simple and stylish material dialogues in your Flutter app. And here we go, the most liked package of week 49 with 25 likes, Tap Builder. Providing you with a simple widget for building interactive areas. The package is described as an alternative to the materials Inkwell class, allowing you to customize the visual effects. For those who are eagerly waiting for the update video of the package Flutter Form Builder, the release will be delayed, sorry for that. The production of the video is taking more time than I estimated. I'm already working on it, but I can't say exactly how long it will take. I expect it to take another one or two weeks. I'm aiming to highlight all the important aspects and deliver a high quality video. So I need a little bit more time for that. Okay guys, wish you all the best, have a nice day and see you soon.